For learning class based views, we will take another example. Let's say employees. We've been using a student's example for the function based views, right? So in this one, let's create a new app and call it as employees. And we will make the model again and we'll also create the serializer for the employee model as well. Okay. So this way you will understand the workflow. Now, first thing that we need to do is we need to create an app. All right. So we have the students and uh, you know what, let's close all the tabs now and uh, make sure your virtual environment is activated. Mine is not activated. Let me quickly go ahead and activate my virtual environment, which is source env forward slash bin forward slash activate. Okay. So make sure this is activated and then let's uh, create a new app python manage.py start app and we'll call it as employees okay employees all right so now we got the employee app created here now let's go back to django rest underscore main and go to the settings and here let's register this app employees all right next thing we need to store some data right for that we need a model let's go to the models.py and let's actually create a class call it as employee okay so let's say models.model and uh, again we will have a simple fields like employee id employee emp id is equal to models dot care field max length can be 20 then emp name is equal to models dot care field max length will set it to 50 and designation uh, designation is equal to models dot again care field let's say max length is equal to 50 okay so i think uh, these uh, fields are enough for us to learn and let's say string representation of this model define str and pass in self okay so let's uh, return self dot emp name okay so now you're done with this uh, employee model and let's go to our admin.py first of all let's import the model from dot models import employee and then we will register this in the admin panel which is admin.site.register employee okay so because we have created the model we'll have to run make migration command and migrate command right let's say python manage dot py make migrations make migrations and you see create model employee and let's go ahead and run this migrate perfect okay so at this point if you okay so let me run the server python manage dot py run server and let me go back to my admin let me go log login and uh, employees we see we don't have any employees yet so let's go ahead and create emp001 i'll add my name ratan kumar and i am a software engineer okay save and let's create one more employee emp002 let's add john doe okay he is a web designer all right so now we have two employees in our database and in the next one we will see how we can create the serializer for this model okay and later we will use class-based views to perform the crud operations okay thank you